What's up guys? Welcome back. Thanks for tuning in and I got a special surprise for everyone. Uh, we have not been racing for a minute and my good buddy Scott asked me if I wanted to try dirt racing out. He is gracious enough to let me give it a shot in his cart. Uh, we're out here uh, at his place meeting up. Uh, we're going to race in Jacksonville, Maxville and it should be fun. It should be a good time. So come along and let me know what you think. How bad can I do? Got the setup going. Uh, Scott, get everything ready for me. We're about to go out on first practice and see how it does. I'm excited. A little nervous, but, but excited. So they allow cameras on your helmets, and I thought this would be the best view. Uh, turns out it was good, but maybe on top of my helmet would have been better. First time out ever on a dirt cart, and let me tell you, it was slippery than heck. It was like racing in the rain on slicks, which um, I'm accustomed to. Uh, it was just, I didn't know what line to take, uh, where to go. Uh, it had been raining, so the track was spongy, what they said, and it was just sliding everywhere. Um, it was extremely fun, uh, difficult to drive, my experience. The cart wants to go left automatically down the straightaway, so you're basically holding it straight down the straightaway and then releasing the wheel and the cart will turn in by itself. But uh, barely any movement in the wheel and it automatically starts sliding. Uh, later on, when I got more comfortable, I started trying different lines. I put the micro on down so I can see if I was gaining time and losing time. It was crazy that there'll be times I would just try to hold it flat out which I thought was going faster but really it wasn't when I started going really really slow letting off maybe halfway down the track letting it coast down the inside I'd pick up almost a second to like 1.2 seconds a lap um, it was difficult to get going at the beginning and the competition was really tough there were three really fast guys with me uh, there was only four of us total but there was three really really fast guys with me um, they raced a ton there and we were doing the best <laughs> of what we could with my very limited limited experience and uh, their karting which was a total of I think maybe seven to eight minutes before we got into the first race uh, super fun though had a blast um, really didn't know what the heck we were doing but we kept you know, all we did setup wise was just keep adding gearing to try to get more speed out of the cart. All right, so all, I think all the practice are out of the way. I said we were gonna have fun, but now the crew is here. We're searching for lap times. We're, we're, we're already lost in the CIK 206 and then we try something different. We don't even know what we're doing in regular 206 class and we come out here and try a dirt race. When we got Barry out here helping us, the struggle's real, guys, but we're gonna send it. I said I was trying to be, not trying to have, I'm trying to have fun. Hey, it's fun to the advisor clicks. Exactly. It's, it's fun to advisor clicks and. That would dance, and there's Oops. no patience, you just gotta bump and run. So, onto the first heat and my first time ever racing in their cart. Um, the leader sets the pace and he gets to go whenever he wants. So, I was on the gas really early and soon, and when I saw all three of them blow by me at the very beginning i knew uh either i missed gearing or we were a little bit underpowered but they would pull hard down the straightaway and then to me they would overshoot the turn and then wash out 
So I knew if I stayed on the very, very bottom tight, it felt like I had better grip down there on the bottom. It's kind of hard to explain because it was really, really slick. But um, I would just coast it in, stay really, really tight, and when they would wash out, I'd get a good run off the bottom. The top two were pretty much gone for a little bit, but then they start fighting and battling out. Uh, I think they start pushing extremely hard and they start washing out really bad. Once I got into a rhythm and start feeling more comfortable, I was starting to able to catch them back down. Um, it was a really good fight and watching them battle it out up front. Um, I just kept learning and learning and learning and kept seeing that as long as I stayed really, really tight on the inside, maybe two, two cart lengths below what they were at, I was able to get a good drive. Here I go from third to first with a pretty good slide job, except I overcooked the turn. Uh, number 40 was the fast guy. That guy was really, really fast. Him and 117 and 24, they were all real quick. Uh, but I was able to stay with them. I was really, really shocked. Um, but I could feel him. Down here, down the straightaway, he was just beating, 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 beating the back door. I really don't know how many laps there were, to tell you the truth. I know it was just going by quick. Uh, I look up, and I know where I think I see like two to go, and I'm like, holy crap, the race is almost over. I was more shocked that I was out in front. Uh, he let me know I was there, uh, that he was there, and we come into his next turn, and he really let me know that he was there. <laughs> I went a little wide, and he goes on the inside, and he was gone. I did not think I could catch him. Uh, I just wanted to do my own line. I didn't want to wreck or spin out. So uh, coming into his last turn, I really cooked it in deep, but I wanted to keep it as tight as I could. He ended up washing out, and luckily, I don't know how I was able to pull off the win. Uh, and then you hear, here I go insane. And it's time I went. All right, so first heat race out of the way. Awesome, amazing race. Um, I don't know if I'm gonna talk through the video. I probably will still to see to tell you what I was doing. Uh, super fun. Uh, had a blast. Uh, I don't even know how. I think the, the top two started fighting a little bit. I was able to suck back in, take the lead, and then uh, a last corner pass for, for the win on heat one. So we're going to keep it up. Uh, the guys are working hard. I don't know why because we're trying out here to have fun. And uh, Not anymore, let's see. No. After, after winning the let's first Let's see. One, we're gonna, there's no more fun after that. You don't just win the first one. It's like, oh, we're just going to have fun now. <laughs> we're still having fun. No, we're not. Now we're out here to win now. I don't even know what I'm doing in this thing. I'm going to do something. We just keep adding gearing. <laughs> For heat two, I was starting P3. Uh, once the green flag dropped, they started pulling away pretty hard. The track was still not to their liking though, because they were still washing out pretty bad. Um, to be honest, I think as long as the track stayed slick, we had a really good chance. Uh, the leader number 40, he was gone. Uh, I rode alongside 117. Uh, he came down, I stayed in it. Uh, we got into a little bit in the turn. He was not very happy to turn into me down the front stretch, but I was not going to back down. Uh, if you guys know how, <laughs> how I run the sprint races, uh, if my, my nose is there, I think it's my turn, so I take it no matter what. Uh, pretty much I had the same mentality going to dirt. So basically go on the inside. Uh, if I'm there, it's mine. If I, if I bump you out of the way, sorry, you shouldn't have been there on the outside. <laughs> Oh, then I saw 24 and I just wanted to get into a rhythm again. I saw he was washing out really wide. I decided to keep it tight and then I had a really good run. Uh, I felt like turn three and four, I was much better than turn one and two. And then number 40 was just gone at the beginning. Uh, actually, I was able to reel him down. Uh, he was more than half a track and then by the end, he was just about maybe less than half the straightaway. Uh, it was super fun. Wish I could battle it out a little bit better, but I think the track was starting to come around to their liking. Uh, at first, it was really, really slick. They were having a lot of issues with uh, cart control, but now it was just, you know, starting to get better and better. And I started understanding what the grip level was. So I hear heat two out of the way, having tons of fun. This is a lot of work. Uh, and a P2, really good battle. I just don't get going as fast as the other guys. And then once I get going, the leader's just too far gone. So, uh, having a blast though. Thanks, Scott, again. 
and uh, let's go to the finals and see. I don't wreck it. Here we go on to the finals. I hammer it. Like there's like a acceleration cone you're supposed to go at. I said forget that. I just I just hammered it. Uh, 40 still got around me. I was like crap. I was hoping I hold him up for a little bit, but no. His uh, he had a bullet that night. Uh, I was able to get out and uh, I didn't see 117 or 24. I think I got that big of a jump that they weren't able really to get alongside me. Uh, but 40 was able to drive around me. And after that, now this is where the track was basically where I'm guessing where they it's usually at because there was actual grip. I wasn't really having to lift that much. I would barely coast out of it, get into a turn and get back on and I could actually feel the bite happening. Uh, this was actually the fastest lap times we had run too so we were starting to move uh, he jumped out pretty far i was able to reel him a little bit uh, he was losing a, a little bit of the, the back end but then once the start cart started hooking back up he was gone uh, then a caution came out due to a cart being stopped he broke down uh, so we were about to get ready for a restart so get on to restart i hammered down way before him and when he took off i knew it was not going to be our day. Um, you know the competitive side of you. You go out there, start trying to have fun. Then you do a little bit decent, and then you just want to do the best you can. Uh, I had a blast. The whole time, I just kept pushing as hard as I could, trying to figure out the limit. But we just didn't have it uh, at this time. I will have to say that I would like to do one more dirt event for sure at a bigger event. Um, definitely would love to try it. But I had a blast, great people, and definitely would like to do it one more time. Thanks for watching, guys. All right, at the end of the day, had a blast, had fun. Sorry about the lighting, it's a little dark out here. Um, ended up P2, uh, number 40 was real fast. Uh, I got him in heat one, he got me in heat two. And then in the finals, he ended up getting the best of me again. So very happy with my first dirt experience. Pretty fun. Uh, it's not going to be a regular thing by far. But in the end, uh, thanks to Scott, thanks to Barry, thanks to Miguel, thanks to my dad, thanks to Kevin, thanks to everybody who came out. I uh, appreciate it, and I hope we get the opportunity to do this one more time. Uh, maybe different class, different track. We'll see. We'll see how it goes. Uh, car owner is very happy, so I might do one or two more later on. But. Extremely excited. Thanks for watching. Thanks for supporting. Remember to stay safe.